Marriage isn't something which should be entered into lightly, nor is it something that once entered into we should take for granted. It's not just about love either. It's about commitment, understanding, sticking together through bad times as well as good. Providing an environment into which one day you may bring children. Ricky and Bianca have come here today to exchange their vows and to share their joy with their friends and family. They're here to cement not only their own relationship, but hopefully to bring together their respective families to form one larger family. It's a day when their love should inspire us all to remember that as Christians we're called upon to love each other. And as they take their marriage vows today, perhaps to remind some of you of the vows, those of you who are already married, of taking yourselves. Maybe to ask yourself if they still hold true for you, to love and to cherish, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. These are things we promise, not simply for our wedding day, but for the rest of our lives, until death us do part. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. By the power vested in me, I now declare that you are husband and wife together. You may kiss the bride. No. Oh, it's an old church, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I suppose so. So, how are we done it then? Yeah, are you happy? Yes, best day of my life. I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment. Why, I. Melanie Jane Healy may not be joined in matrimony to Stephen Richard Owen. Why I, Melanie Jane Healy, may be joined in matrimony to Stephen Richard Owen. May not be joined. Sorry, sorry, um, may not be joined in matrimony to Stephen Richard Owen. If you'd now like to exchange the rings. And if you'd now like to read from the card. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Stephen Richard Owen, do take thee, Melanie Jane Healy, to be my lawful wedding wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Melanie Jane Healy, do take thee, Stephen Richard Owen, to be my lawful wedded husband. I now declare you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Just in case you were wondering. I know.
Hello, I find a little grease monkey. What do you think you're doing? Very nice. I bet this cost a few bob, didn't it? You ain't even supposed to be here, now get out. All right, Bill, calm down. Don't go into one. But a little word with Steve, everything's sorted. Let bygones be bygones and all that. Yeah. Got an invitation, have you? I tell you what, that chicken's lovely. You should try some, but wash your hands first, eh? Let's just leave the food alone. You know my trouble, Bill, didn't you? I see something I want and I take it. Can't help it. Bad, isn't it? Now listen, I'm going to be in Steve's office. When Bill gets here, tell him I want a little word, yeah? Lovely. You just move that further in down there. Good. Lovely. And uh, if we could have everybody now, then. Steve, please. I'm going to talk about it later. Your um, mother and father were unable to make it, Melanie. No. They're divorced, I understand. Who told you that? Philip. He's such a lovely young man. Now tell me, when did you first decide that you wanted to become a barmaid? <gasps> Mrs. Hurry. Why don't you call me Mum? OK, bride and groom in the middle, please. Mum, next to the groom. And uh, witnesses either side. And if you, sir, could just uh, step in. Lovely. And uh, you, sir, if you could stand next to uh, this young lady over here. Just give me one moment. You were just to torment me. No. I'm here to torment myself. OK, and if we can have a big smile, please. Lovely. Oh, smashing. And another. Lovely, and again. Yeah, that's lovely. All done. Mum, look, uh, I'll have a word with Pepe, eh? See if he can give you a ride back to reception. I think I'm already taken care of. Is that all right with you, Philip? Yeah, of course. No problem. We can have a nice long chat. <laughs> ah, I'm taking you up to the hospital, you know, come on. Wait, I'm not going anywhere. There's nothing else you can do. Oh, yes, there is. Alfie, you've tried, it hasn't worked out. I mean, look at the state of you. Oh, I don't care. Are you going to help me out here or not? How? How about we both rush him? Well, we both wind up dead. Oh. Alfie, can I make a suggestion? What? They have a two from this morning, yeah? Yes, yes. Right, well, they might have the brawn, right, but we got the brains. Oh, I got most of them across my shirt, look. Which one's their car? The what? The car they were in this morning. Well, it's, it's that one up there, isn't it? The black one? Yeah, yeah. If I can buy you 30 seconds, is that enough time for you to get in there? Yeah, I suppose. Right, yeah. Andrew, will you take Kathleen to be your wife? Will you love her? Comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Oi! You stay there. Kathleen, will you take Andrew to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others? Get! Up here! Alfie, what are you doing here? Nana told me what you said. I'm getting married! But yeah, but you ain't finished. It's uh, Vicar, they married yet? Well, no, but we... See? Well, I'm as good as... Listen, I, I, I know you don't want to marry him, and that you want to marry me. Yeah, I suggest you shut your mouth, son. Yeah, well, I ain't frightened of you, all right? Well, you should be. I'll try to remember this in church. <sighs> listen, I've got to be really quick, darling, because there's some blokes coming up here and I think they're going to kill me. But listen, whatever happens, all right, I really love you. I, right, listen, I know I've been stupid and, and pig-headed and I've made a mess of everything. But this is the first time i felt like this, cat. You know, and, and the thing is, I, I didn't know what to do. Get off me! And you tell him to leave him alone. Will you tell him? Yeah. 
All they're doing is phone him out. Please! They won't hurt him. Sorry about that. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Let go! Let go of me! Please, carry on. No, I don't. Oh, really, know. really, it's fine. Old boyfriend can't say no for an answer, that's all. Can't do this! Can I remind everybody, please, this is a church? Yeah, seriously, if, if you do this, all right, you, you, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. All right. If, if, if you tell me that you don't love me, th then I'll go. All right. I don't love you. What? No, 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 hold on, hold on, no, get off. That don't count, cos you're lying. Look at the state of you. You know, it's all a raging hackney. Cat, please, just... just give me five minutes, yeah? I'm getting married. If you're so sure you're doing the right thing, then five minutes ain't gonna make a difference, is it? Can't it wait? It's hardly. I'm, I'm scared. <sighs> I'm scared that I'll walk into that church and Archie, he'll give one look at me and walk straight out again. Well, so let him. I mean, if he does, he's not worth it, is he? That's easy for you to say. You're not old and lonely. How many shots do you get in life? Mum, you want to live like this, eh? Now, you're brilliant just as you are. If, if Archie don't think that, then you're better off without him. He's, he's just not worth it. But I love him. I love him like I've never loved any man. He takes my breath away. I'm sorry, Phil, but he does. He always did, even before your father. One look from him, and I go weak at the knees. <laughs> and I tell you something, darling, if he'd have made his move, you, Grant and Sam, you'd never existed. <laughs> well, that's a cheery thought, now. I'm just being a stupid old woman. Mum, you love him. And that's a good thing, but... Hotchie's got to take you for who you are and what you are. Well, if you don't, then... you're better off out of it. <coughs> I don't think I can hold it much longer. Well, you better be quick. Okay. Excuse me. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Archibald Lionel Mitchell and Margaret Ann Mitchell. Something to share wrong. their joy and celebrate their love. You don't like it. What happened to the suit? Marriage is a gift of God in creation. I didn't like it. Shame. Through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. Not too late to change your mind. Because this is it. This is me. And if you don't like it, I can always turn around and walk straight out again. It is given that as a man and woman can grow together in love and trust. Don't make the scene, Peggy. Don't tell me what to do. Don't ever tell me what to do. Make a choice. Make a real choice. Everything okay?
Well? You're the only woman for me, Peggy Mitchell. Just the way you are. Only say that if you mean it. How are you feeling? Um, very, very nervous. <laughs> Everyone does. Just relax. It'll be fine. If you'd like to come to the front. Best man, do you have the ring? I just need to know, right, say, ten years ago, right, before you met Max, if, if you got to know me, would you have ever considered anything happening with us? <laughs> Sean, I'm a married woman. I mean, how many times do yeah, we have to go Yeah, 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 but, but would you? Uh, look, you're an attractive man. But you've got problems. Maybe if you stop trying to make everyone hate you so much, then, well, you might make good boyfriend material. For you? Would you have considered it? <laughs> I... I'd have considered it. That's as far as I'll go. Look, if I was you, I'd spruce yourself up and get your head together, cos she's here. Badly waiting. Stacy, you can't go through this. Go home, Sean. Stacy, you never failed to disappoint, dear. You come in, love. Please be seated. Welcome everyone to St Peter's Church and to the wedding of Stacy and Bradley. It's a lovely autumnal day, a perfect day to celebrate the union of these two young people. If you'd like to turn to the first hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Have you seen how many there are? I'll have you know that these are some of the most beautiful hymns what was ever written. Bradley personally requested them. to the unit, we argued. Do you really think that I want to hear about your sick obsession? It's true, Zainab. We were a couple. We were together until just before Christmas. What, so all, all this time while he was planning on marrying Amira? He wanted to tell her he was going to call it off. Yeah, but he didn't, did he, Christian? Because it never happened. Do you None know what? Of it. You believe what you want to believe. Yeah, well, I believe that you probably did try to seduce him. It would be typical of people like you. People like me? Yes. 
promiscuous, predatory, thinking that you could just trust yourselves or all and sundry. What was it? Never had a Pakistani before? Don't be so ridiculous. You, know, you see a closed door, you give it a push, and when <sighs> it slams shut in your face, you concoct this miserable fiction. He kissed me oh, first. Oh, you are sick, And Christian. we fell in love. You don't know the meaning of the He's words. gay, Zainab. Saeed is gay. Darling, this is not the baby, is it? No, no, of course not. All right, you OK? Never better. Right. Thank you. Don't worry, we'll wait for your mother. I've been to Shadi's that are four hours late. Can I just say that you look absolutely beautiful? Aww. <laughs> You're such a cutie. <laughs> Whoever it was, they must have heard us. It might not even be one of the Woody Party. And even if it was, the chances are they don't care. I need a cab. I'll be waiting opposite the Minute Mart on Bridge Street. Walford to Heathrow. Fine. What is it, Christian? Your mother came round. She went crazy, attacked me. I've told her everything. I am so sorry, Sally. Proceed. Yes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to stand, we're here to witness the joining in matrimony of Michael Moon and Janine Butcher. This requires both bride and groom to declare their freedom to marry each other before making the contract of marriage when they take each other as partners for life. Please be yourself, are you? Are you satisfied? Do you think you're clever? Sorry, do I know you? Get up. Stand up. No, I don't think so. I said, get up. What are you doing? You stay I'm out of this, you. Well, you should choose your friends better than shooting you. Now, come on, come no, on. No, get your hands off me! Don't you nasty little girl. I've been all Mr. Charm up until now. Do not make me nasty! Oh, that's it. I'm gonna go and get my dad. Good. Get who you want. And bring your mother while you're at it. I'll sort her out at the same time. Oh, what are you now, doing? You apologise. I didn't do anything! Oh, you didn't tell her mother that she was here? Hey, you didn't grass her up! Sorry, was that a secret? Do you want to slap? Dad, I don't want her to apologise. No, she's got to apologise. <laughs> she's got to learn some respect. Now, do it! Do it! Sorry! I can't hear you! 
I'm sorry, all right? That's more like all it. All right, just let her go now. Well, you stay out of this, Lauren. Let go of her. Who the hell are you? Your son! Please repeat after me. I, Michael, take you, Janine, to be my wedded wife. I, Michael, take you, Janine, to be my wedded wife. Please repeat after me. I, Janine, take you, Michael, to be my wedded husband. I, Janine, take you, Michael, to be my wedded husband. Could we have the rings, please? I give you this ring as a symbol of all that was promised and all that we now share. I give you this ring as a symbol of all that we have promised and all that we now share. Michael and Janine, you have both made the declarations required by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract in the presence of your witnesses today. It is my great privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife. This place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of this marriage. Pauline, what are you doing? Right, just coming. Repeat after me. I, Alfred William Moon, take you, Kathleen Slater. I, Alfred William Moon, take you, Kathleen Slater. To be my wedded wife. To be my beautiful wedded wife. Kathleen Slater, take you, Alfred William Moon. I, Kathleen Slater, take you, Alfred William Moon. To be my wedded husband. To be my gorgeous wedded husband. <laughs> <laughs> I can therefore declare you are now man and wife. Is that it? Yeah, looks like it, Mrs. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> it's now customary to kiss the bride. <laughs> Go on, Come on, 
Spencer! <laughs> Right, well, um, I haven't really done this before, so I don't really want to say very much. Except, well, you probably all know that me and Alfie ain't got a mum or dad. And that, well, he sort of looks after me. So what I want to say is, is that, well, he's the best big brother that anyone could ever have. And I ain't being gay or nothing, but I love him. And I think I know him better than anyone else. Well, except in Nana, probably. But I know he loves Cat very much and I know they're going to be really happy together. So, will you all please raise your glasses and give a toast to Alfie and Kat. Alfie and Kat! Dad said he'll change if you want. If only every man would offer that. <laughs> his clothes. I don't care what he's wearing. You look amazing, Mum. Someone to hold you too close Someone to hurt you too deep Someone to sit in your chair And ruin your sleep and make you aware of being alive Someone to need you too much Someone to know you too well Someone to pull you up short And put you through hell And give you support we are gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the union of Michael Carter and Linda Bernadette Peacock in marriage. Make me confused. To witness that I, Michael Carter, to witness that I, Michael Carter, do take thee, Linda Bernadette Peacock, do take thee, Linda Bernadette Peacock, <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Linda Bernadette Peacock, to witness that I, Linda Bernadette Peacock, do take thee, Michael Carter. Do take thee, Michael Carter. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Linda Bernadette Peacock, I give you this ring. Linda Bernadette Peacock, I give you this ring. As a symbol of all that we have promised and all that we share. As a symbol of all that we've promised. I give you Mr. and Mrs. Carter.